Hello, you are watching the Star News update. I am Himalata Subramanian. Deputy Prime Minister Dato Sri Najib Tun Raza says police must treat Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim with the degree of decorum and respect that he deserves so that the people are assured that the police are acting appropriately. Najib adds as long as the police follow the procedures and necessary protocol and should be transparent so that there will be no apprehension about what the police are doing. Asked if it was necessary for the special ops unit to wear balaclavas when arresting Anwar on Wednesday, he said the government did not give any instruction to the police on how they should conduct the arrest. Meanwhile, Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim's lawyers, R. Sivarasa and Sankranaya, said that no charges had been levied on the former Deputy Prime Minister at this time. They say that Anwar refused to give a DNA sample on Wednesday night because they fear there will be fabrication of evidence which Anwar had alleged had taken place in the infamous black eye incident of nearly a decade ago. Tato Sri Anwar Ibrahim arrived at his home in Bukit Sugambot on Thursday morning after being released on police bail. However, he will have to report to the Kuala Lumpur Police Headquarters on August 18th. Please check our website for more details on the case. Meanwhile, Deputy Inspector General of Police Tan Sri Ismail Omar says that Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim was treated well during his overnight detention. He, he said the people should not assume anything and let the police conduct their investigation. He, however, says Anwar was not cooperating with the police and doctors for blood sample, which is crucial for the case. Malaysia Today editor Raja Petra Kamarudin refused to enter a plea after he was charged at the Jalan Duta Magistrate's Court for defaming the wife of the Deputy Prime Minister Datin Sri Rosma Mansur. He was released after his wife Marina Lee posted a bail of 2,000 ringgit at 3.45 p.m. Thursday. He was charged over his June 18 statutory declaration on the murder of Mongolian translator Altan Tuya Sharibu in 2006. For more updates, log on to the staronline.tv. I'm Himalata Subramanian. Thanks for watching.